everyone, so today I'm going to show you one of my absolute favorite pie recipes. Um, this is um, an apple nectarine pie, but you can make this with any summer fruit. It works really well with just apples. You can do this with apple rhubarb, apple peach, strawberry rhubarb, pretty much any summer fruit that is good for pies you can make this. and it's. Really one of my favorites. It has sort of a caramel topping, very, very juicy. And I'm going to have the full recipe also on my website, mischievous.tv. I'm going to have it in metric and in US measurements. So you can try it out for yourself. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and happy pie baking. I have this with just a pie dish and a pastry dough. So this one is actually a store bought pastry dough. And you just want to use a, or a fork and make lots of holes in it, like this. And this is going to prevent bubbling later on when you put it in the oven. So now I'm just going to go ahead and make the apples. So I've already peeled them using an apple peeler. Now you just want to core the apples. So I'm using an apple core. And you just want to take out the core like that. Do that to all the apples. And these are Granny Smith apples. You want to get an apple that's a little bit tart, so not too sweet and mushy. Okay, so now I'm going to prepare the sauce for the apple pie. So um, you're going to want to heat up in a little saucepan some butter. Um, it's about 115 grams. Um, I like to use unsalted butter. And I'm just going to put that in there. And you want to slowly heat this up. You don't want to put it on too high temperature because otherwise it's going to start turning brown. You don't want that. While that butter is melting, um, I'm going to just measure out my sugar. So you need about 200 grams of um, you need about 200 grams mixture of brown sugar and just regular white sugar. So I am just going to measure that with my scale. Okay, so meanwhile the butter has now melted, so you can see it there. You don't want it to be brown, just yellow. And now you're going to add a couple of, a little bit of flour, it says about 25 grams, so I'm just going to add like a couple of teaspoons or a couple of tablespoons of flour. And then you just want to mix that up so you get kind of a paste, a little bit more. And you want to add in about 60 milliliters of water. So I'm just going to do that. All right, so you've got this. And then you're going to add in the sugar. Just going to add a little bit more water because it seems a bit thick. So yeah, you want to stir this every now and then. Um, it's going to start to caramelize and um, you just want to bring this up to a boil again. Okay, so while that's simmering, I'm going to prepare the fruit. Um, I've already peeled these now and cored them, so now it's just time to chop it up. And these don't have to be perfect or anything. Just do thin slices. You can also use an apple slicer if you have one of those. Okay, so you can just maybe hear the background. I'm just preheating the oven now. Um, and I'm just, I just cored the nectarines and I'm just going to slice those up as well. These don't have to be like in a perfect shape or anything because anyway, these are all going to cook and get kind of mushy and stuff. Don't forget about your sauce. That's really important. Make sure you have it on low simmering and stir it once in a while because it is caramelizing and if you don't stir it, it will, the sugar will burn. All right, so I've put the um, apples and the nectarines into the pie form. You can arrange them neatly if you like. I just like to dump them in. <laughs> just make sure it's evenly covered. And then your sauce should look very thick. This is the caramelized sugar now. 
Now you can also do a lattice crust top or something like that or you can cover it. You can do whatever you like. I just like the open face pies because I don't like that much dough. But you can definitely do a lattice crust. That looks really pretty. Um, and now I'm just going to pour this slowly over the pie. Make sure you spread it kind of evenly. Okay, so once that's all ready, um, you want to put the pie into a preheated oven. It should be preheated to 220 degrees Celsius, or if you're on Fahrenheit, it should be on 425 degrees. And um, you put it in and you bake it for 15 minutes on that temperature. Then you want to reduce the temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius and then you continue baking for 35 to 45 minutes. Here you can see the pie is now baking. So, mmm, I'm already excited about it. Okay, so I've just taken the pie out of the oven and it's pretty much finished. So there you can see the final pie. This is very, very juicy. It's now combined the juices of the fruit with the caramel that you can see here. It's kind of caramelized over the fruits as well. I absolutely love this pie. This tastes amazing. If you take it out of the oven, eat it warm with ice cream, like vanilla ice cream, but you can also let it cool down completely and just eat it by itself. So I hope you enjoyed and try it out and let me know if you like it or not. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.